Hi, my name is Jess and I'm a perinatal and under ones worker for the East Hertfordshire Family Centre Service. And today I'm going to talk to you about my baby's brain and the five to five. Um, I'm going to talk about this antenatally as well as postnatally. So um, because the five to five um, and bonding and attachment, you do this during pregnancy as well as when baby actually arrives as well. So let me get started with what is the five to five. So my baby's brain five to five is a initiative across Hertfordshire. Um, and it looks at bonding and attachment between parent and baby. So the five to five consists of the five daily things that um, babies need every day um, to really help support healthy um, brain development and growth um, and just gives them that best possible start to life. Um, so what are the five to five? They are play, talk, respond, cuddle and relax. So these five things every day will really help um, support your baby's development and healthy, um, healthy brain growth. So these five things you, you probably do every day without realising it, um, but it's the connection of all five of them um, interlinking together that will really support the bond and attachment with baby and support their development. So during pregnancy, um, those five to five things can still can still happen. So you might think, well, how can I play with my baby when they're not here yet? But you can, um, just feeling them kick or move around, um, just holding your bump um, and talking to, talking to your bump lots. Um, they can hear from inside the womb. So, um, and they can recognize voices as well. Um, and they especially like their mother's voice. So that might be because it's maybe a little bit more high pitched. Um, so the more they hear your voice and the voices around you, um, so partner can also talk to bump, they will recognise those voices when they arrive. Um, so it really helps with that bonding um, and then that later on that attachment will hopefully form as well. So talking to bump, like I said, responding as well. Um, if they kick talking back and rubbing your bump, um, cuddle, just, just sitting and just holding your bump thinking about baby it's it's making you feel close to baby and it's helping them feel close to you by them being able to hear your voice um, and recognize the sounds um, and then them hearing your voice will help to soothe them when they arrive so even before baby arrives you can still start building that um that bonding and that attachment with them um, and then when they do arrive um there's lots more ways to continue to support that bond and attachment that you have already started during your pregnancy. So skin to skin contact is um, very important um, for you and for baby. So um, having that skin to skin contact is a time for you both to relax and have a cuddle. Um, it's going to release the hormone oxytocin. So your blood pressure will reduce, which reduces your stress. So if you're feeling calm, relaxed and happy, this is gonna like rub off onto baby and it's gonna help them too. So it's gonna regulate, help heart, regulate their heartbeat um, and just really help have that moment to bond, um, which helps with the attachment process as you um, continue to bond. Eye contact is really important to help with bonding as well. So babies, they, they love faces, the eyes, nose, mouth. Um, so really making sure you have that eye contact with baby, um, whether that's when you're playing and singing with them um, and, and just talking to them, try and make sure you are quite close. So babies, they can't see too far away when they're first born. So it is just making sure you're nice and close and um, so they can really see your facial expressions because that helps with the bonding and attachment process as well. So the five to five, the more you do these, the five to five, so play, talk, cuddle, respond and relax with your baby, you are helping to form the neural connections in their brain. So I'm going to show you a picture um, and this shows the neural connections at birth, three months and 15 months. So as you can see, when they're first born, they have um, a few neural connections, but they're not all formed just yet. Um, and then as they get older, 
um, and you're doing the five to five with them, you're helping to grow their brain and form those connections. So a, a baby's brain will double in size within the first year. So that just shows how vital the first year of life is um, at building their brain and giving them all the support and helping with their development as much as you can, which will um, help them in later life. They'll be more resilient to things. So it really helps. So if you think of those neural connections as, um, as like the underground station, the as like the different tubes so if there was to be like an issue something happened somewhere along the track um, and those connections hadn't really formed then that's going to really affect the whole the whole system so think of that from your baby's point of view if they were to experience a trauma um, or some like sadness they they could be more affected by it whereas if you had been doing the five to five and you've really built up that bonding that attachment with them um, and all those neural connections have really formed they are going to be a lot more resilient to things so if they were to experience a little trauma or something that's upset them it could just be like they've hurt themselves they're going to be a lot more resilient to that and it will just kind of knock the track which is absolutely fine things happen it won't affect the the, the whole system they will bounce back from it um, that that is where you come in you will kind of go through the five to five process with them so it might be during playing um, so you could go back to have a cuddle and relax with them and that can really kind of help regulate their emotions again calm them down and then they're good to carry on so so that's one way um, of kind of looking at the neural connections so going back to the five to five now um, I'm just going to discuss some ways in which you can do those five things. So I have said previously, you, you do do them every day without, without recognising. So like responding, like just noticing their feeding cues um, and feeding them accordingly. Um, playing, talking, you probably do these things without even thinking about it. Um, and it's really good to try and have some time each day where you can really play with them wherever that means if they're doing tummy time you're down on your tummy too face to face with them so they can really see um have that eye contact with you um or even as if they're a little bit older rolling a ball back and forth it's just a short amount of play time um and also that's where respond comes in you're responding back to them if they babble you babble back um and they could babble and you could just talk and say yes i know you're feeling like that it's making them feel better they're being recognized and they're, they're being responded to and they know you are responding back to them so it all helps and supports their development but what we do need to remember is um babies they can't like regulate their emotions themselves and calm themselves down so if they've had a really really busy play session and they've got really hyper and happy and excited they're going to need you to help them wind down and calm down after that busy playtime. So that's a perfect opportunity to just have a cuddle. Just have a cuddle and it will help you both to relax. So that could be going back to skin to skin contact or it could just be a cuddle. And that is going to really help help yourself. To, like I said, releases oxytocin and helps to calm you both down and regulates um, baby's heartbeat and will just kind of help relax them, whether that's be before bedtime or before like a, um, before a feed or um, um, a bath, things like that. If just any busy playtime, it's really good to kind of have that wind down time. So it doesn't need to just be a cuddle. It could be you kind of just trying to sit calmly and listen to some calm nursery rhymes or sing some nursery rhymes, such as like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. That's quite a calming one. So yes, they, it's really good to have that... Um, that time at the end and then talking that comes into everything we do and it, like I said the five to five they all interlink you can't have one without the other so having all of them together is what's going to support baby's development um, overall um, so just talk to your baby as much as you can you might feel a little bit crazy sometimes just talking and talking but they will eventually start to babble back and start to engage more and as it goes on and they get older, the more they hear um, different words and your voice, they're going to be able to start forming um, words together and that's what helps promote their speech development as well when they get older. So 
um, just talking all the time, whether you're on a walk and you're just talking about what you can see, um, or just, just having a chat with them while you're at home. It all adds up and it does really help their development. So going back to the five to fry, um, the main idea is to all support that bonding and attachment. So bonding is you and baby, you feeling close to baby. So like I said, you can do that through pregnancy, where you're nesting, you're thinking about baby, you're getting things ready, you're talking to your bump, they're hearing your voice. And then when baby arrives, um, just having those cuddles. Um, some people may say like, don't cuddle them because they might feel needy, but, but no, you, you can't cuddle your baby too much. Um, there's no such thing. If babies, sometimes babies want to cuddle, like they may cry, they, they just want some comfort. And as well as you, as their parent, sometimes you just need that cuddle. Um, and the, you cannot cuddle your baby too much. So um, yes, cuddling them is good and it helps with that bonding. And then attachment is the process of them seeking you as their parent, like their main carer. Um, they're seeking you for safety and for comfort. So the more you've bonded with them during pregnancy and when they arrive, it's going to really support that attachment process. So they will have you there as, as their support, whether that be like emotionally, um, if they need you, that they will seek you out to, um, to have that support, whether that just be a cuddle or somebody to talk to as they get older. Um, so yeah, it really, really helps. All of everything I've spoke about, the five to fry, it really supports with their healthy brain development, giving them the best possible start in life and really just helping them as they get older and to get school ready um, in, in the long term. Um, so yes, <laughs> I really hope you found today useful. Um, we do um, run a, a ready to learn not to do package where we look more closely into my baby's brain um, and go through some like, activity ideas to do at home and how to really incorporate the five to five into you and your baby's daily routine. So if that is something you'd be interested in, please get in contact.